Good day class! Our lesson for today will be the last topic for your thermodynamics. And our topic will be the thermodynamics processes. But first, I want to refresh you about all the ideas na naitakel natin from the recent uh, discussions of our thermodynamics. So let us see. Yan. So I have to refresh you with the following discussions and then formula. Kasi sir and ma'am, ito yung mga parts na integral pagdating ng yung thermodynamics. Yan yung mga bagay na hindi mo dapat kalimutan. Okay? Meron talaga mga bagay na mahirap kalimutan. Meron din mga bagay na mahirap matandaan. Pero ito yung mga bagay na dapat mong hindi ka kalimutan. Okay? Yan. Ito mga values na to, I will discuss it to you. Okay? And then let us begin. For thermodynamics, unang-una, pinag-usapan natin yung pressure and temperature. Okay? What will you do pag ang pressure mo is engaged or in vacuum? So, ito yun. In order for you to make your pressure into absolute form, ay laging yung gauge pressure mo, a positive gauge or a negative gauge, paano ba nagiging negative ang gauge? Maybe that is vacuum. Okay? All you have to do is to add yung ATM kapag positive gauge. Ano ba ATM sa that is at That is atmospheric pressure. In order for you to change the gauge pressure into absolute, Ganun din naman kapag negative gauge. I-add mo lang yung, ah, i-minus mo siya from your atmospheric pressure. Now, what is QS and then QL? Di ba pinag-usapan natin during our ideal gas discussions that QS is the sensible heating. At ano naman po ang QL? That is latent heat. Ang sensible heat is meron kang change in temperature without the change in phase. No phase change. Yung iyong latent heating, you have a change in temperature and the matter changes in phase. Okay? Magbibigay tayo ng example. Pag no phase change, ibig sabihin, water at 0 degrees Celsius changes into ano? Into water pa rin water at 40 degrees Celsius and so on. You have no change of phase. Now, for the latent heating, you turn water into ice or water into steam. Okay? Ibig sabihin, at 0 degrees at 0 degrees Celsius, water turns to ice at 0 degrees Celsius. So, you have no change in temperature, pero nagkaroon ka ng change in phase. Paano naman kapag ano? Paano naman kapag water into steam? Now, 100 degrees Celsius, water is still water and it is starting to boil at 100 degrees Celsius and that 100 degrees Celsius, it changes into vapor or steam. That is latent heating. Now, latent heat. Kapag latent heat of vaporization, ibig sabihin, the matter vaporizes. If latent heat of fusion, then that is, yung water mo becomes ice. Now, you have H. What is H? This is enthalpy. And enthalpy is the sum of the internal energy and then the flow work of your system. Which flow work is the product of your pressure and then volume? This is enthalpy. Now, for ideal gases, meron tayong tinatawag dito na the change in internal energy. Now, the change in internal energy happens in constant volume process. Ayan o, CV, constant volume process. CP, constant pressure process. Ngayon, ano po yung CV and CP? CV and CP are both, what? Specific heats.
specific heat constant at different processes. You can see that the change in internal energy happens during a constant volume process. And the change in your enthalpy happens during a constant pressure process. Yeah. What is now? Ito, specific. Uh, specific tuloy. I mean, entropy. That change in entropy. Now, what is entropy first? Entropy is the measure of the randomization of your atoms. MCLE ng T. Depende yan kung sinabing constant pressure and constant volume process. But delta S, MCLN ng T. T2 over T1. Okay, ito naman yung combined gas law. Pinakil natin, pinagsama-sama natin. Yung ratio nun lahat. Okay. P1, V1 over T1 equal to P2 V2 over T2. Ngayon, ang tatandaan mo, that pressure and then temperature must be in absolute form, absolute value. In order for you to solve any parameter na hinahanap sa combined gas law. Now, yung combined gas law mo, dyan papasok si ano? Dyan papasok si PVMRT relationships. What is PVMRT relationships? PVMRT relationships. That is the ideal gas equation. Now, for your ideal gas equation, ibig sabihin, the product of your pressure and then volume is equal to the product of your mass, the universal gas constant, and the temperature. Always, you have to ano, make it into absolute form, yung iyong pressure and then temperature. Now, as you can see, PVMRT, pero pwede natin itong ano, i-reform. PV over T equal to MR. And that is constant, okay? O ngayon, ito equal yan sa M and R. Since, atandaan nyo, if you have, uh, tawag dito, constant flow, yung mass mo will be retained throughout the system. Now, If that is, hindi naman mag-change yun ng ano, hindi naman mag-change yun ng chemical formula. Nag-change lang naman yung kanyang parameters. Tulad ng ano, ng pressure, volume, and temperature into its final state. Pero hindi yan nag-change in molecular composition. So, meaning that the universal gas constant of that substance remains the same. Ayan. Ito yun. Okay? Yeah, PVMRT. NRT. Ano ba yung NR? NR. NR bar. N. N is the number of moles na meron ka dun sa substance na yun. And R bar is the gas constant. Universal ulit yan. Kaya lang, andito yan sa ibaba. Mamaya, ipapakita ko sa inyo. Okay? Now, the relationship of the gas constant to your CPNCB or the specific heat. Let us go here. Okay? Ayan. Now, the universal gas constant of any substance is equal to Cp minus Cb. Okay? Cp minus Cb. Tatandaan mo na ang Cp is always greater than Cb. Ayan, ha? R. Ano bang units itong lahat ng ito? Kapag SI unit, that is kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin or Kapag naman, English units, that is BTU per pound degree Rankai. Now, ano po ba ang CP ng air? Tandaan mo, kapag air. Kapag air, that is what? CP of air, kapag SI is 1.0062. Ang unit, kilojoule per kilogram. Pag CV. That is 0.7186, both in kilojoule per kilogram degree Kelvin. Ngayon, sir, kailan po ba magiging parehas ang CP and CV? Take note, that the CP and CV of water 
pag water, ang CP niya equal to CV. That is 4.187 kilojoule per kilogram degree Randa. Ah, degree Randa. Degree Kelvin. Okay? Yan yun. Hindi na mababago yan. At ang CP and CV, kapag ice naman, divide mo lang ng 2. Kapag ice, ha? Now, ano naman po ang ang uh, relationship between K, CP, and CV? Tandaan nyo ito. Yung K daw is tignan nyo dyan. CP over CV. Siya rin ang tawag dito. This is the specific heat ratio. That is the specific heat ratio. Okay. CP and CV. Sir, paano sir kung given si K and R? Okay. I-derive pa ba natin? Kahit hindi na. Okay, ganito lang gawin nyo. Yung CV is equal to R over K minus 1. Ang CP naman is equal to KR over K minus 1. Kahit hindi natin derive yan, madali lang naman siya i-derive. Now again, ito yan. For water, ice, and liquids, the CP of water is equal to its CV. 4.186 or 187. Latin heat of fusion in order for you to what? To change water into ice kapag SI. That is 334 kilojoule per kilogram. Kapag naman English units, that is 144 BTU per pound degree. Per pound. Per pound na lang. Yung pala. Per pound. Uh, Latin heat of vaporization. That is the Latin heat in order for you to make your water into vapor. That is 2257 kilojoule per kilogram. And kapag ano naman, that is 970 BTU per pound. Kapag English units. Now for air. Dalawa ang K ng air. Okay? It depends if your air is cold or hot. If air is cold, the specific heat ratio is 1.4. And then kapag hot, 1.3. Now, the CP of air, that is 1. Ganun din naman kapag CV. 1.0062 or 1, pwede na yun. Kapag CV, 0.7186. Ito naman is 0.24. Ang CV niya is, hindi nakalagay dito, 0.171. Yan. And then the R, uh, universal gas constant, 0.28708. 08. Yan. Tapos 53.34 kapag English, the density is 1.2 at standard temperature and pressure. Now the Latin heat kapag air of vaporization, wala siyang uh, fusion. That is 2,442 kilojoule per kilogram. Now, ito yung mahalaga na dapat yung tatandaan. He, helium for anoble gas, carbon dioxide, 1.287. And then for nitrogen, it comes in handy. You have to remember this. Sir, meron bang madaling paraan para matandaan natin itong case? Yes, there is, pero magsasolve ka pa rin. Pero mas maganda, madali lang naman tandaan yan. Basta habang nagiging lumalapit ka dun sa pinakamababang atomic number, mas bumababa yung ano mo, mas bumababa yung, ah, mas tumataas yung iyong, tawag dito, tumataas yung iyong specific ratio. Ayan. Alamin mo yung molecular weight. Sir, saan ba ginagamit yan? In order to ano, to solve for R, the universal gas constant of any substance, that is R bar, over molecular weight. And then R bar, ito yun. Pwede, na naman, pwede din naman itong kilojoule per kilomol degree Kelvin. Pareho lang naman. Multiply mo 1,000, 1,000. Cancel lang naman. Kaya naging joule, mole, kilo, uh, Kelvin. Ayan, 1,545 pound foot kapag uh, English. 
pag na aliter naman, that is molal analysis ito for chemistry. Now for gas pra uh, ideal processes tulad nung ating steady flow and non-flow dito na derive 'yon. Kapag non-flow work ibig sabihin there is a constant pressure process so the volume changes. Yan. The, vo the volume only changes but the pressure is held constant. Now, for steady flow, kapag green up mo yan sa PV diagram, yan, i-graph mo sa PV diagram this one, so the pressure remains constant from, ano, from 1 to 2. Ayan. The pressure is held constant. Paano naman pag steady flow, the volume is held constant naman, PV. Now, pataas lang yan. Two and one. Non-flow and steady flow. Well, the heat transferred. What is for the heat transferred? Depende yan. Ah, depende pa yung heat mo. Pwedeng, <clears throat> pwedeng ang process mo is constant pressure heating or constant volume heating. So, pwede rin namang represented ang heat mo as the internal, change internal energy plus one. Okay? So, that is for uh, refresher ng ating thermodynamics. So, let me take a five-minute break muna.